Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to get the installation date of any app installed in your Android phone uh, from your Android app. So let's begin. We will give any name to it. So get installation uh, date of installation or I will just put uh, apps installation date to keep it apps installation date and I'll just click uh, and then I'll just uh, leave all the things uh, as it is click uh, finish and let the environment to load up so perfect uh, then in the layout the first thing or I think it, it is still loading the environment so we'll have to wait for a few seconds here once the environment gets loaded up, uh, the layout part will be like, as it, like this. So we'll add a button very quickly and this button probably will give the name as uh, get the get installation date. So this will be my trigger uh, this click of this button and before this button will also put a text plain text as an input and that will take the input of the name of the app. So probably I can give it, I don't know why it says person name. So I'll just change it, edit text, a app name. So whatever apps name we give and it will just find that app in the installation and return the installation date over here in the text view. So text probably I didn't know, don't need anything over here. I just put few constraints and then I'll put hint over here, uh, enter app. Sorry, apps name perfect. And what else? Probably I can put change the alignment of this to center. Yeah, and uh, on this, uh, most likely uh, I'll just increase the text size of this one. Text size from 14 to probably say 30 uh, pixels, and then over here text view uh, date uh, uh, output yeah so that's all from the layout perspective is what i think should do the few hardware text so we will have to create a resource for that uh, you can just click yes and it will automatically take care probably what i will also do is i'll just change this hello world over here and put something more relevant to our thing so date will be date displayed here yeah. yeah and I was expecting a warning of course because then we have to create the resource for this one perfect so we are done from the layout perspective now we'll switch to the Java code in Java code we will keep it pretty simple and first we'll create a, a private text view few uh, class variable which will refer to the widgets which we have just now added in the edit text i think this will be edit text uh, app name and this will be my uh, date and yes so this will point to edit text app name equal to find u by id r dot id dot edit text app name apps name whatever you can just choose your name uh, whatever you want to put the string there and r dot id dot text view output here then uh, to trigger or the on click method we can just have a separate method public void public void and uh, button get installation date and then we can put view view perfect now we will use this method in our uh, on click method uh, on click uh, attribute of this particular button and so you go back to the layout and over here you can just choose it like this in the drop down and that's fine that's sufficient now getting back here uh, what else we will need is we'll first start first create a local variable uh, which will contain my string package name package name is nothing but uh, for the app we'll have to get a complete package name so say for example if i scroll up 
I don't know why this is not working. Okay, so the package name for this particular app is uh, this one. So similarly for any app, say for example, if you have WhatsApp installed, you will get this package name for that particular app or something like that. You need to get the package name for that, that particular app. So you need to know the complete package name for that. So over here, I'll just uh, create a local string and I'll just quickly check whether this edit text app name dot get text dot to string equals uh, empty. So if it's empty, then what you what we'll do is I'll take the local uh, uh, package name here. So either you can hard code the, this one over here or you can also do is this dot get package name perfect else if uh, that is not empty uh, then of course you can again do a come some kind of uh, algorithm here but i will keep it simple i am just trying to fetch the apps installed or installed by me or that are that developed by me so what i will do is i will just keep it the first part anyway i know that it will be this one only and the only the name of the app will change which is the last part so to, what i will do is over here i'll just make it like this plus and then i'll take the app name which will come from my uh, user entry which is this one get text dot to stick perfect but in your case say for example if you want to check for whatsapp or something like that then that in that case you need need to know the complete package name so i have a separate video for that to find the complete package name of any application so every application has a different package name you can't just hard code like this because this is my my package, the apps developed by me, but all the other applications like Gmail or others uh, have other uh, uh, package names. So you have to find the complete package name and then uh, use that over here in this particular variable. Okay, so once done that, uh, then we can proceed with our uh, uh, actual logic. Logic is pretty so much simple. We will have a long variable and which will store my installation uh, date, and this will be this dot get package uh, manager no 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 not this one package i think the second one dot uh, i think get package info and then we should add the uh, two inputs first is the package name which we have already taken in our variable and the second is flag we can just leave it as zero and then uh, you can see that different uh, options which you are getting or different information you can retrieve say for example first installation time or the last update so first uh, sometimes you want to know when was the last update of that particular app so you can choose either of them or install location and uh, there are various information you can fetch in this video i'll just show you first installation time so that's what i am uh, more interested in perfect and but here i can see there is some red some something in warning so if i right click so it's asking me to add an exception to the method or surround, surround with try catch i think i'll go with the second option where it surrounds it uh, with try catch and that should be fine and then probably i'll proceed and now the output of this i will get it in this particular variable and then i will use this variable to change it from the i think it will return in milliseconds so i'll change it into a proper date format which we can read so for that what i will do is i'll just quickly shift it shift the definition outside and just do the assignment inside and then i will create another variable called date new date and over here i will enter this one as an input variable so over here probably i have missed this semicolon that's the reason why initialize okay so i initialize it to zero not a problem because i think otherwise it will give an error yeah and that's it is i think and i'll just put this as set text and i can use the variable which we just now got date dot to string and that should be fine but i think this will give you in a very lengthy format so i'll just probably cut it down to few indexes so 0 to 19 should be fine I have already done the calculation so you can use this or you can just try it out with different index and that's it so I'll just run this app uh, in the emulator and see how it uh, appears so I think uh, my emulator has come up in below so I'll just uh, bring it side by side so this is the layout which we have designed I'll just uh, before entering any other uh, app name I'll just click here in the date so this will give me the first installation date of this particular app only and showing uh, 
some date over here uh, although it's uh, not the current date 610 but uh, i think this was the first time when i installed this particular app on this uh, phone or on this emulator now i have another app which i installed uh, sometime before so i'll just get it for calculator and perfect so if you can see it's showing for uh, another app also so if i delete this so i just get this perfect so yeah so this is an easy method so i can see uh, see there are many other apps which i have created but i think i think i'll just uh, keep the demo simple over here uh, for this current uh, app and the calculator app which i have developed some time back so and it works fine it gives me the date day and time when the first installation of that particular app was done so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and